Madam President, dear ladies and gentlemen, even if the exact circumstances are still unclear, one thing is certain, the responsibility for the death of Navalny is borne by those who deprived of his freedom and who imprisoned him under unbearable circumstances. Both the detention and the conditions of detention were serious human rights violations. Those who care about freedom and democracy must condemn a regime that treats its critics in this way. However, what you stop here for this occasion is hard to beat in hypocrisy. If freedom and human rights were really important to you, why is there not a word from you about Julian Assange, whose fate is now being negotiated here today in London, who has been held in a British high-security prison for five years under unbearable conditions of detention, who is now also so ill that it is questionable whether he will survive the next few months? And where is her indignation about the foreign minister, who is guided by highly moral values, and who, after all, wants to deliver Eurofighter and its missiles to the Saudi Islamist regime, which regularly beheads or whips oppositionists to death and occasionally also saws a journalist to this regime? Where is your indignation, and how cynical one must be to abuse the tragic fate of Mr. Navalny, to give the Taurus missiles a new impetus to the debate, to carry the war with German weapons to Moscow, as Mr. Kisuiter demanded, do you really no longer know how it turned out twice when megalomaniac German politicians wanted to carry the war to Russia? Finally come to your senses. Instead of putting our country at risk, stand up for peace negotiations and a ceasefire and do something for the release of Julian Assange, so that the world can see that democracies treat their critics differently from dictatorships.